So now you just need to know what to do when white do not develop his knight from g1 to f3. And let's look into this. We have d4, d5, c4, c6, the sclav, and now not knight f3 but knight c3, and then we are into the exchange variation of the sclav. We still play a6, and of course if white was to play knight f3 here, then we would get an easy game that we now know with bishop g4 pinning the knight. So um, what we are going to focus on now is either bishop d3 or rook to c1. With uh, rook c1, then uh, I have seen some strong players playing bishop g4 attacking the queen, uh, but after f3, they all went back to d7 somehow, as if they didn't want to provoke uh, the move g4. And you see, after bishop d7, then anyhow, white's plan was to expand on the king side. And you know, space has always been important on the chessboard, and it will continue so. So if you have a space advantage, it is worth something. Um, after e6 and h5, we have bishop e7. So at least white has a clear plan here. He has got some space on the king side. But black is solid and he should be able to defend this position. But that is, you know, with rook to c1 when people play bishop to g4. And then I ask myself, why not just play the bishop to f5 here? Because white has no other move than knight f3, really. And then after rook c8, we are in one of the lines that we just looked at. So that makes sense, doesn't it? Why let white expand on the king side? It is worth something. Well, I gave you an idea here. Now, after a6 and bishop d3, uh, and not rook c1, then I like to move my bishop to g4, because, you know, we will be able to hit the white bishop at d3 when we at one point play bishop back to g6. And therefore, I like the maneuver, you know, uh, bishop g4, h5, g6, but only because there is a white bishop on d3. Now rook a7 makes sense, defending b7, rook a7 is just, uh, it's not nothing permanently, he will be able to improve his rook position later, and by the way, the queen on b3 is not better placed than the rook on a7. So uh, bishop g3 here, bishop g6, and after an exchange, the position is about equal. But white must be careful not to play the position a bit too hard, because if he was going to play e4 here instead of knight f4, then he might face small problems. Computers say small advantage for black. So uh, that is with the bishop on d3. Then we play bishop g4, we now looked at f3, let's look at knight g e2 instead. And then after e6 and castle short, it is very important that you remember to play bishop d6. And if you have noticed it, then I have always suggested bishop d6 uh, in this DVD, when you have the choice between bishop e7 and bishop d6. And only also to let you know that bishop d6 here is important. If you play bishop e7, then you might face some problems. I'm not going into further details, I just tell you how things are. Then after f3 and bishop to h5, we have rook c1. In another game, you know, was tried, bishop captures d6, but black is totally safe. And he doesn't have to fear any exchange on g6, because uh, he will be totally fine. And one of the problems for white uh, with f3, e3 is that he has weakened uh, e3 square. And uh, 
that will always give black some contours uh, possibilities with e5. And if white prevents it with f4, then of course he has weakened the square e4, and this can never be to white's uh, advantage. So uh, here black is totally fine. If instead knight a to c5, then uh, of course black can just capture on d5 with d3 with an equal game. So after knight d to c5, there is one old variation running like this, and black gets an equal game, get his pawn back on a2 and an equal game. And what more can we expect? As black in the sclav defense. So uh, bishop h5, rook c1, we have bishop g6, and after knight a4, we just capture on d3, and when he captures on d6, we should be totally fine. Don't forget that we also have the c4 square to our possibility. And also the maneuver knight c4 to d6 is a strong maneuver. And you will see it again and again. This knight is strong place there. Here black is totally satisfactory. I don't see any problems for black in the exchange variation in this class. Um, and uh, I th believe with this knowledge you got here, then you are totally safe in the exchange variation in this class. Good luck.